good morning dear students let us recap the chapters skeletal system and the nervous system body is made up of organ systems organ systems are made up of organs organs are made up of tissues tissues are made up of cells and basic unit of life is a cell a group of organs that work together to perform a function is known as organ system let us see different types of systems which we have digestive system breaks down the food into usable parts by digestion respiratory system takes in oxygen from the air and removes carbon dioxide from the body by respiration skeletal system supports the body and protects internal organs by skeleton muscular system allows movement of the body by muscles circulatory system transports food hormones wastes and gases by circulation nervous system controls the functioning of all organ systems regulates behavior excretory system removes wastes from the body by excretion reproductive system produces offspring by reproduction these are the organ system of our body now let us study skeletal system skeletal system is made up of bones known as skeleton the skeleton is a framework of bones in our body it consists of skull backbone rib cage limbs and girdles and grown up adult has 206 bones a newborn baby has 300 bones the skull has 22 bones 8 cranial bones and 14 facial bones it protects the brain only the lower jaw can be moved all other bones are fixed this is a backbone backbone has 33 bones it is called vertebrae it is also called vertebral column it protects the spinal cord rib cage the rib cage consists of 12 pairs of curved bones called ribs it encloses the heart and lungs limbs four limbs and hind limbs the limbs arms and legs are the limbs the upper arm has one long bone called humerus the thigh bone or femur is the longest bone in the body these are the girdles pelvic girdle or pectoral girdles the girdles shoulder or pectoral girdle joins the arm with the backbone the pelvic or hip girdle joins the leg with the backbone the smallest bone present in our body is stapes that is in the inner ear the longest bone is the femur of thigh bone and the hardest bone is the jaw bone these are the bones which are the smallest longest and the toughest functions of the skeleton it gives shape support and strength to the body it protects delicate organs it produces blood also joints a joint is a place where two or more bones can join with each other two bones are held together at a joint by strong elastic fibers known as ligament cartilage is present on the surface of bones where they join with other bones it prevents the bones from wearing out because of rubbing against each other it also gives definite shape to ears and nose we have two types of joints fixed joints and movable joints the skull joints are the fixed joints and do not allow any movement these are the movable joints hinge joints the joints in our elbow knees fingers are the hinge joints where movement is possible in one direction this is pivot joint the skull joins the backbone at pivot joint and this allows the head to move sideways upwards and downwards gliding joints gliding joints exist between the bones of wrist ankle and also between the vertebrae the vertebral column and they make it possible for us to bend our back and twist our fingers ball and socket joint the end of bone is shaped like a ball and the end of other bone is shaped like a cup or socket and ball and socket joint they allow a 360 degree movement of our arms and legs muscles muscles are fleshy bundles of thin elastic material that helps bone and joints to move 
Voluntary muscles can be controlled. Muscles of arms and legs. Involuntary muscles cannot be controlled. Muscles of digestive system, uh, arteries and veins. Cardiac muscles present in heart, very special type of muscles and they work continuously 24 into 7. Thank you children. Please read the chapter, uh, the skeletal system and the nervous system and try to understand the chapter, learn the question answer for your revision work. Thank you children.